how to load uh, um, Apple Snow Leopard operating system in VMsware. First of all, you need to uh, download uh, the images uh, online. I'm going to upload the directions and uh, please support me for the information that I upload and, and the space. Uh, you can support me via PayPal. So <clears throat> I have uh, downloaded uh, the partitions. Then I use uh, WinRAR to assemble it. Now this is the virtual machine that will be used by VMware. Um, you just have to follow the directions and it's very easy. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And I did no more than just follow the directions. So this is VMware. Click it. Um, <clears throat> And if you uh, click VMware, you have to put uh, a file name uh, Darwin in the C drive. Uh, a file name Darwin in the C drive. So, uh, um, Let's see. Yes, Darwin is here. You need to put this in the C drive. It's using file Darwin I so and that's it. That's and you have to make sure that your computer can handle a virtual machine. And uh, sometimes it, it sometimes you can handle it and it's turned off. And if you want to know specifically, it's different for every machine. For my case, this is ThinkPad. I just to enable it. I just restart it. Press the Think Vantage button and then uh, scroll to the config page and follow the directions. And when I so enable. <clears throat> virtual machine settings i enable it and it works fine for my case but everything is in the pdf file that i'm gonna include uh, the links where to get it in this case i just click reduce memory so here you see snow leopard vm uh, it's loading so This is Snow Leopard 10.6.7. So in this case, if you if you have, you can have all everything together. You can have your one laptop, your one window laptop, and. You can have everything else you need, whether it's Ubuntu, Linux, or Apple. Uh, you can have it easily. So, as you can see, it's loading. It takes time, uh, maybe a minute or so, but it works fine. Um, That's it. It's going, it's going. And this is much better than uh, making it part of your hard drive because this you can, it has less effect of damage, you know, than installing it on top of your current uh, XP or Vista or Windows 7 operating system. In this sense, if you just delete those files and delete the VMware, you're done, basically. So, 
this is it this is apple snow leopard uh, it works fine and I just you can you can uh, use the USB if you wanna if you want to bring in some file but the internet uh, the VMware doesn't uh, recognize uh, internet connections unless if you know some tricks to make it happen otherwise it so that's this is it this is real apple <clears throat> it is a little slow so uh, so here this is a real apple um, it has it works just like it so i was i did this because I needed uh, to download the uh, iPhone developer tools for developing uh, iPhone iTouch applications and I didn't want to spend money to buy an extra laptop Apple laptop so I decided to use this it works fine and a little bit slower but it's worth it I I like having everything in one place so so this is it for all of those who are convinced I'm going to give them the link so if I can do it anybody can do it right so let uh, so Everybody have a nice day. Uh